Hai Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bertemu kembali dengan saya Madam Mazia Muhammad Dan topik 9 Wireless Local Area Network Dalam topik ini kita akan bahagikan kepada dua bahagian Dan ini merupakan part 1 Ataupun bahagian pertama yang kita akan cover ialah X02.11 Okay Alright RGPE X02.11 cover the physical and data link layer. The standard define two kind of services. We have two uh, BSS, which is called as basic services set and extended services set. Kita akan belajar uh, these two, apa perbezaan between these two services. Okay. Apa itu BSS? BSS is made of stationary or mobile wireless station and possible central base station known as AP ataupun access point. There are two types of BSS. BSS without an AP, sometimes we call as ad hoc network. BSS with an AP atau we call as infrastructure network. This is the figure for BSS. Alright. So, left side adalah ad hoc network without AP, without access point. And we have infrastructure, BSS with an AP. Alright. So, it means that inside the network, we have uh, many station here. We have four station without AP. That one adalah ad hoc network. Uh, infrastructure adalah we have four station connected to one access point. Itu kita panggil infrastructure. Alright, this is the basic. Dan apa pula adalah extended service set. Uh, extended service set ataupun ESS is made out of two or more BSS with AP. It means that ESS adalah made up daripada lebih daripada satu, dua ataupun lebih BSS with access point. The BSS are connected through our decision, distribution system that we call wired line. Alright, BSS ini will be connected together using one we call distribution system ataupun wired local area network. There are two type of uh, BSS, there are two type of uh, ESS, alright, so we call as mobile and stationary. Mobile adalah normal station inside BSS and stationary station are AP station. Alright, this is a figure explaining about ESS, alright, so... Alright, so ESS, this is figure lah ESS. We have three BSS connected through the access point. Alright, and again, access point between one BSS connected to another BSS using we call as distribution system ataupun we call as LAN wired. Alright, so BSS adalah basic services set and AP adalah access point. Okay, alright. So, there are three types of uh, IEEE 802.11 uh, station. We call as three types of station. Alright. Pertama adalah no transition mobility. This one is type of station. No transition mobility. It means that a station is either stationary or moving only inside a BSS. Only inside BSS. Alright. Dalam satu BSS, right, we have station 1, 1, station 2, and station 3. Example. Alright, so no transition mobility is means that the transition only happen inside BSS. It means that it transit between session 1 to session 2 alright, under the same BSS. Alright, that is number 1. Number 2, alright, number 2 la BSS, we call as BSS, transition mobility. Alright, it means that the transition only BSS to BSS. Alright, alright, BSS transition mobility adalah transition happen only from one BSS to another BSS under one ESS. 
Alright, so that is number two. Number three, okay, number three adalah ESS transition mobility. Alright, it means that transition from one ESS to another ESS. The transition only happen from one ESS to another ESS. That is in C ESS transition mobility. Alright, then we look at our next adalah max sublayer. Alright, max sublayer identified IEEE 802.11 defined two max sublayer. Uh, we call as DCF and PCF. Apa itu DCF? DCF adalah stand for point coordination function ataupun PCF tadi. Uh, sorry, DCF stand for distributed coordination function while PCF stand for point coordination function. Alright, this adalah merupakan max standard max layer in IEEE. Alright, so next kita tengok adalah Okay, this one frame format lah tidak dalam syllabus. Ia dikeluarkan dari syllabus. Okay, kita terus kepada uh, frame type. Alright, there are three type of frame ataupun frame type. Pertama adalah management frame. It's used for the initial communication between station and access point. Alright, management frame tadi lah used for initial communication between AP dan juga station. Control frame used for assessing the channel and acknowledging frame, and data frame is used for carrying data and control the information. Alright, this one lah control frame. Alright, so we put FC lah flow control the address one dan sebagainya. Alright, kita tengok seterusnya lah dalam addressing mechanism. Alright, so in IEEE 02.11, addressing mechanism specify four cases. Alright, is from defined in FC field, dalam flow control field, to DSS and from DSS. Kita akan tengok in detail sepas ini. Alright, so this is a uh, example. Kita tengok this one. Okay, there are four type of addressing. Alright, this one we call as addressing. Mechanism. Okay, just four type or four cases of addressing mechanism. Case number one, we call as zero, zero, zero. Apa maksud zero, zero? The frame is going from one station in a BSS to another. All right. So from one BSS to another BSS. Okay, so this is we call zero zero case. The frame is going from one BSS to another BSS. All right, the acknowledgement frame should be sent to the original sender. All right, kemudian kita akan hantar act. It means the acknowledgement dihantar kepada original sender. All right, so this is a figure explain case number one, di mana the transition ataupun uh, the addressing happen between one BSS A, session A, kepada session B. Alright? And then the acknowledgement message will be sent back kepada the sender. Alright? That is case number one. Case number two, we call as zero one. Apa maksud zero one? Alright? Zero one adalah... The frame is coming from an AP and going to a station. It's from AP, okay, kepada station ataupun kepada station. Alright, this one station, a station in BSS kepada station, another station in the same BSS. Okay, that is zero zero tadi. Zero one adalah the frame is coming from AP, daripada AP kepada Station, alright. Then acknowledgement message akan dihantar back kepada original which is AP tadi access point. That is zero one. Then on this one from the figure, okay, the sender the frame will be sent from AP kepada station number B dalam BSS yang sama, alright. Then acknowledgement message will be sent back kepada AP as the sender, alright. That is case number two. Next, we look at on case number three. 
case number three adalah one zero. One zero is means that, alright, frame is going from a station to AP tadi daripada AP ke the station now from station kepada AP dan acknowledgement message back kepada uh, station. Alright, so this is case number three. Alright, case number three, the frame will be sent from the, uh, sorry, from the station kepada AP and then the acknowledgement message will be sent back kepada original sender like A. Alright, that is one zero. Next, we look at on case number four. Okay, case number four kat sini lah. Case number four adalah one one. Apa tu one one? Alright, it's going from AP. Frame is going from AP kepada another AP. Alright. One AP kepada another AP. Alright, that's why we call one one. Alright, then the acknowledgement message will be sent back kepada original sender. Alright, so that is, alright, that is one, that is the case ataupun addressing mechanism. Alright, this is physical layer. Alright, in physical layer, we have uh, beberapa format, IEEE, we have ASIO 2.11 and this one adalah teknik teknik uh, FHS dan sebagainya. Alright, so kita tak nak this one kita nak tengok in details. Okay, itu sahaja daripada uh, under wireless part 1 which is kita fokus on X02.11. Selamat belajar dan selamat jumpa lagi dalam topik seterusnya bahagian tu adalah Bluetooth. Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum.